I'm just mining some meteorite. So yeah, there are a few, there are a few more slimes. Hmm. I wonder why my face isn't loading. I, uh, I took a hand glider journey and uh, found a few more. Yeah, but, what do you think of the hand glider, huh? Cool, isn't it? Oh, the hand glider the hand glider is great. Um, I'm not I sure it should like really that. be working that well in the thin atmosphere here, but okay. So yeah, That's uh, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> last episode, last episode, we supposedly had done the sealers, and I was really happy. And uh, I actually found out even before we I finished editing that video. In fact, I put in some captions there and pointed out where I had made the mistake. But uh, even though Oops. the sealers were saying the rooms were sealed, they really, they really weren't. weren't. <laughs> yeah, and once I got to building this, which is the oxygen detector, which outputs a redstone signal, which runs a little indicator light, uh, the lights would the lights would flash on and off basically. And I think what it I'm not really sure what happened. I, I rebuilt the room several times. Uh, I thought it was a problem with oxygen, a problem with power. I, I redid everything. Uh, I'm guessing that the difference was that the airlock frame blocks actually cannot be part of the uh, the sealed structure of the room. You have to build an enclosed room and then put the airlock inside it. I had built uh, a room that kind of ended with the airlock frame, and I think that was what was causing the room to seal and unseal, seal and unseal. However, everything is working now. I have two sealers running, which is all we built. Um, so this airlock goes to the outside, and you can see that when I open it, the green light goes out, saying there's no longer any oxygen in this room. And then when I come in, the door closes, and in a few seconds, it repressurizes. And the room in here with the chest is the same thing. It's got another sealer and another detector with a light. And this airlock also goes to a vacuum area, because all this area inside here with the power generation and the oxygen collection, this is all, this is all vacuum. So, opening this airlock you can also see when you come in the light goes out and after a few seconds it comes back on, it comes back on. <laughs> there we go um, now this area down here the secondary area that I built and installed all our equipment in including the digital miner here and our, our, uh, our other slimelings um, this is all being pressurized by the uh, the sealer that's in the small airlock room and it can, it can only do that by having the door open So for instance if I if I were to make a hole in the wall here this bit would depressurize Yeah, and we don't want that. I would have to seal it and then open that airlock for it to repressurize uh, Some reason I, My face isn't loading Can't see uh, face. You look fine to me actually. It must really? Just be on oh, your okay. end. Yeah, because okay, you, you have your normal skin to me. The only problem is oh, with the obsidian helmet the uh, Is that uh, I can't see your eyes actually it's kind of weird now. I oh. oop, I built this room. Uh, we could either use this because uh, actually we should build the cryo beds. I think before we do anything else. Yes. Uh, but uh, I, I I brought some animals with us to do some testing. Uh -oh. uh, I want to see what can survive on Mars and if they need an oxygen environment or not. Um, so uh, so maybe, kind of cruel. <laughs> maybe we could maybe we could do. Well, I'm thinking also we could have livestock. I mean, if they live, we can have we can breed livestock on Mars. We can have uh, a, mm. you know a full supply of all our animal resources. Uh, you'll notice here that the normal the torches, torches work. Yeah, the normal yeah. torches work in an area that has oxygen. And, and when I was testing, it was kind of weird because I had the green light and, and the torches and they would kind of flicker in unison uh, <laughs> when the thing was not working right. Uh, so yeah, so let's grab um, I've got I've got a, a few. Yeah, I've got a few iron left in the digital miner. I'll turn that off and dump that into the factory here. Um, I actually brought the enrichment and purification equipment for doubling, or excuse me, for tripling the ores, but unfortunately they don't work with Galacticraft ores, so I'm, I'm uh -huh. not bothering with that, yeah. So, and the only thing we don't have enough of really is uh, aluminum. Aluminum, really? redstone, and coal. Uh, you mean aluminium? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> copper, tin, and steel we're okay for because that stuff exists here. Um, but let's also grab the dash because I got some of that too. And you yeah, have to, how much of that do we need? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I've got 15 pieces, and I've also got some compressed meteoric iron plates and heavy-duty plates that I made. 
So that those are the ingredients for the beds. Uh, but I also I know that there's, a... I mean, there's dash tools and dash weapons and and dash armor as well that we can try and make. Yeah, I just fear of dying and, and being sent back to Earth, and that would be. Kind of yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. We should we should definitely make these. So let's grab the dash and stick that in this slot in the smelter, and uh, wait for that to go. And I guess I might as well drop this piece of meteoric iron in as well, and we'll wait for those to cook. Mm. Helter smelter. Yeah, actually, uh, this this guy I had grabbed on my last trip in a lasso and brought him back. And you can see what happens is that they they grow, but their hit points don't increase unless you feed them. Yeah. Uh, this guy wants. Okay, see, he wants gold as well. So I think he's out of luck. Wow. These two yeah. both want gold. Uh, this one wants emeralds. Jeez. Yeah, well, I got lucky. The first few only wanted stone swords and boats. And this one, unfortunately, wants something cheap. He wants uh, flint and steel. Uh, but I well, we don't have, have any. I don't have any flint, though. So, hmm, yeah. um, I w what know. I wonder is if these guys can survive on Earth. That's uh, Ooh. that's interesting. Well, this is an O2 environment right now, and they seem to be fine. I mean, unless they're... Well, yeah, but who knows? Maybe written into their code is some idea that they can only live on on Mars. Maybe they'll die if mm. we take them to the overworld. I don't know. We'll well, have I to, hope not. We'll have to experiment with that. Uh, okay, so what are we getting out of this? We should be getting... Okay, yeah. Dash ingots. Seven. Hmm. I mean, do, do we need per bed? Uh, I don't know. Let's look it up here. Cryo. Yeah. Uh, cryogenic chamber. Okay, so it needs a bed. Uh, one, two, three, four, six compressed dash. And two heavy plates. Yeah. Well, I've got the plates. Um, how much more dash is in there? Five. Oh, I think we're gonna be. No, I think we're. I think we're all right. I think. Says compressed ingot. We need to use. Yeah, we're gonna need twelve. Saplings? We're gonna need. Oh no, it's it's just saying you can use a fuel. You need to smelt it. It just oh, it goes okay. through and all they're... the things you could possibly burn to make. Oh, okay. you know, Those to make are just something. fuel options. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, two more. One more. So we're definitely gonna need more of this stuff. Mm. Um, but this is not no a bad choice. how much you have. <laughs> it's not a bad choice for a first. Okay, that's the last one on its way down now. Boom. Okay, so we've got 15. So we're going to have a couple of spare, I think. Uh, okay, so now I've put the ingot compressor up here. And, hmm, I think we're maybe only going to have enough for one. Okay, no, actually, okay, we're lucky. Uh, to make the compressed dash, you only need one ingot per plate. Per plate, yeah. Instead of two, which is what it's like for steel. Oh, mm. actually, it looks like one produces two. Oh, even better. Oh, all right. So well, we got we got more than enough. I thought. Sweet. Maybe I'll make a hat. Uh, how how good is it for armor? Yeah, because that that uh, freezer right know. thing you got is really scary. We can look up the dash stuff. Let's see. Uh, well, like it, you know what? Later. At least, at least they're my color. See, they're the gray with the green accents. The dash chest plate, and the dash leggings, and the dash boots, and the yeah, dash match. helmet. Uh, it doesn't tell me how many points they have, though. So I guess I'm going to have to actually make one to try that out. All right, so that's eight plates. So we can make the first one, I think. Nice. Okay, so first I have to take these heavy-duty plates and combine them with compressed meteoric iron. Do I? How does that work? I forget. <laughs> <laughs> I, for I forget how this works. Um, compressed dash, yes, yes. A uh, heavy-duty plate is compressed meteoric iron and a heavy-duty plate. But this is not working because of reasons. Oh, do I have to combine it in the... Yeah, I have to combine it in the compressor. I'm trying to do it at a craft table, and instead it needs to... What? Uh, what are you... Hey, what are you doing with it? <laughs> put, put Slimy down. I just wanted to see if it would work. Of course it would work. Why wouldn't it work? Hmm. 
Uh, okay, so grab the rest of those. Um, these go in here. And four of those. Okay, there we go. I was trying to do it in a craft bench, and it needs needs to be done in the ingot compressor. Um, also, we need wool to make beds, and we didn't bring any, but luckily enough, we have enough oh. string from all the spiders that it's no problem. I thought we had some over in here. Do we have any wool? There's wool in there, so. but it's wool I made from string. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It should be in resources or organic. One of the Organics. Other. Yeah, there's wool. I got yeah. six. Yeah. So just make, uh, just grab some wood and make two beds. Two beds. Um, okay, so there's the four. Oop. And we'll make a bed. Okay, so there's the there's the four heavy duty plates we need. And around it goes the compressed dash. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yep, I got three left over. So now I just need two beds. Hold on one second. Two beds coming up. Can I put them on the bench, or do I have to give them to you? Um, either way, it doesn't matter. You can you can just make them if you want. Well, will they stack or? Uh, no, beds don't stack. You'll have to put one in the center, make the thing, and then put the second one in. Okay. And we have two crowd beds. Yay! Okay, do you want really? to put them I in still here? see all the ingredients on the table. I can't actually see it. Okay, now it's empty. Okay. I can see it. Okay, so hey, yeah, you want to put it in here or? Well, yeah, uh, well, oh. unless you had a better idea. Creeper. <laughs> it's weird seeing him out there. Hello. Uh, yeah, I figured we either use this room for that or we use this room for animals and we build another room for that. Uh, oh, my wow. God. it's That seems huge. Ooh, are we going to have enough room? Carrying it like a rocket. I don't know. Try to put it down. I don't know how much I don't know how much space it takes up. Try to put it at the end. <laughs> oh, they did. Oh. They stack vertical. They stand up. All right, well, uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, guess I, need to, I guess I need to move those windows. Oh. Uh, all right, it's night, isn't it? Right? I mean, uh, yes. it's dark out. All right, so let's try them. All right, which one do you want to take? Uh, I don't know. I'll take this one on the right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Says you left the game. I, Did you leave the game? I, I didn't actually get a chance to click on it. I, li I lagged out. Oops. Or I um, lagged out because... I'm... Oh, okay. oh, I can see you. You're standing in it. Oh, I'm falling I can see through you. the world. I can see you too. No, I'm falling through the. Okay, now I'm back. Wow, you know what I'm getting serious flashbacks of? What? Master Chief. No, I, I I get a bad packet ID every time I try to click on the thing. Oh, what's going on? Are we having know. network issues? I don't know. I can not... I can see I can see you in the room. You look like uh, you're perfectly. You've normal. just glitched through the wall. I did. Yeah, you just walked through that wall. I don't know. I seem, I seem fine to me. Is it part of the cryo beds, or <sighs> are you having network issues? And I have no idea. You used it, didn't you? Uh, I, it seemed to. I mean, I got in it. It looked dark. I kind of spun around, and then I could look out. And it looked like it went night, and then you kind of glitched out. You were, it said you left the game. It said you took off and everything else. Yeah, when you try to use the cryo bed, something happens. As soon as you clicked on it, you walked into it, and it says Narcogen left the game. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. So we had some technical problems there uh, with the with the cryo beds, and either some some cruft in my Minecraft folder, or some graphic settings I had on, or or not enough space for the cryo beds. They were knocking out the walls, and then the skin server went down, and. Uh, it's just basically a cluster. Things are okay. <laughs> Things are okay now, though. Uh, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. We're 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 fine here now. Uh, how are you? Uh, pretty much. Well, you know, as long as slimies are holding out, then I think okay. we should be all right. So anyway, uh, yeah, the idea was the uh, the idea was the dungeon. Um, yes. To try and see if we could take on that guy with. Uh, with the gravity gun and the slime guys. Now, how far how far away is this? This is actually not far away, right? 
No, it's actually pretty close. So the question is whether or not we'll be able to uh, defeat him once we get there, or we're either going to run out of supplies or figure out some kind of alternate tactics, because uh, whatever we do may or may not work at all. Okay, well, I'm bringing the laser and bringing the gravity gun, and we're going to need... I, I, I suggest, actually, we're not going to use the hang glider for this one, because what I want to do is uh, I want to bring the slimes as backup. Maybe we should try the beds again? Uh, do we really want to do that? <laughs> well, we need we need to be able to rely on these things. I mean, that's the that's the unfortunate yeah. bit. I mean, if we can't if we can't use them, then then you know what's the we're whole point? We're in trouble for a lot of different reasons. Um, hopefully, now that we've used them at least once, uh, I hope that means the respawn is set. Although I'm not gonna, I don't want well, to die. Well, that's just it. Do you wanna I don't want to die to prove. I don't want to die to prove it though. No, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but it's better than the alternative. Um, but, but I guess I, I guess again the idea would be uh, put everything in a chest. <laughs> yeah, before we trek out, we want to make sure that all any and all valuables are removed from our person. Well, no, I meant before using the trying to use the bed. Oh, them too. Yeah. Uh, do you want a chest in here too? Uh, we could use one, I guess. I think I think I can get there because I think I've taken everything off, but this all, the whole area here is pressurized, so I should I should be okay. Hmm. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to amass as much of, uh, as many torches as we can, because I think we're going to be coming handy in the dungeon space more so than out here illuminating monsters, which don't really attack us very much either. Oh, the glowstone yeah. torches? Yeah. yeah. No, the monsters okay. don't seem to be nearly as aggressive on Mars as they were on the moon. So. All right. Okay. There, so there's a chest. Is it? There's a chest in front of your. Uh, your chamber too. I'm I'm gonna take the one that was yours a minute ago because that's next the one that's next to my chest. It's got all the stuff in it. So, which chest? Your chest or your chest? <laughs> the chest. Oh, there's a glowstone torch bobbing up and down on the ground outside. Yeah, I was picking around a couple and cleaning things up a little bit. There's a spider on here. Yeah, let me see if I can grab that. Oh. Yep, lasers are doing their job. Yep. Oh, what the heck? What? What's the matter? All right, this this room is not pressurized. It's not. No, the I took my are... I took my gear off. I started to take damage. Really? Because the torches are working. Let me try one. Of the, let me try one of the rooms that actually has a sealer in it. This room's got an oxygen detector in it. The light is on. Yep, and I've taken the tanks off, and I'm not taking damage. Okay. Now let's walk in here. Is there a pressurization monitor in this room? No, I I, I made as many as we could. All right, now it's now it's fine. Weird. I only seem to do that when I walk through the front door, which is weird because it's beyond the other airlock, so that door shouldn't be affecting this particular environment. How long do you wait? What do you mean? Before I come through? No, if you walk straight through, then the doors will be open at the same time. Yes, I, I'm, I'm taking damage now. Wow, okay, so, all right, but, but the door is closed. That's I'm, I'm still taking damage now. Wow, okay, that's weird. I went through the front door, but the door behind me was already closed. Yeah, so well, then, this, reason, the, opening... then this, room, this room needs its own monitor uh its own sealer no it needs, it needs a sealer the monitor will only tell you i'm going to take damage the oh. point is there needs to be a sealer over here to compensate <clears> because yeah for whatever reason uh going outside past this door is depressurizing this room at least temporarily wow that's okay so you need a sealer for this do we have that yeah, we need another, one? Uh, i'm not sure mm. we may be short of some stuff Okay, so can I come through the door here without causing wait, your wait, damage? Wait, wait, I'm going into the room. I'm going into the room with the sealer. Now do it. No, I took damage again. Wow. Okay, something's going off. Do it again. Go outside. All right. Okay, that's through the inner door. Did that affect you? No. Okay, I'm going through the outer door now. Three, two, one, going. Yep. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it as soon as I did it. That's weird. With that airlock there, that should not do that. Is there a problem with the airlock, or is there a problem with how it's connected, or something? Or I, I don't know. I think it may be a mod. Because the other thing is, you know, uh, you know, just come back in. Okay. Three, two, one, going. 
Open. The green light does not go. Oh, okay, now it's gone. But okay. yeah, that's basically saying that 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 that's telling us that that opening that outer airlock is depressurizing this room. Wow. That's not Well, something. here, wait a minute. Let me What about this? What about this door? Yeah, that's going to depressurize this room. Damn it. Jeez. I'm just checking. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't one working and the other one not. That one obviously would depressurize this room under all circumstances. I would think so. Well, I'm wondering I'm wondering if this is a flaw in our design or whether it's just uh, a, a glitch in the mod such that whenever those things are opened, the whole system is reevaluating the seals and it may take a second and that means there's one second where it's going to start killing you because it's not sure that there's air. But then again, the uh, the light going off. Okay, so I wonder if I wonder if this airlock is no good. Well, that's just it. I'm wondering if there's an error somewhere. Hmm. Uh, oh crap. Um, What's the matter? Uh, my tanks are in the other room. Oh yeah, you want to get those on? Yep. And actually, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be it for now. We're gonna have to troubleshoot this system and then take on the dungeon uh, in another Excellent. episode. Yeah.